This is the first year I'm going to the tip-off banquet with a boyfriend instead of dateless like some pathetic loser. <laughs> Christy, I don't have a date. Oh, look, here comes Julie. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, look who's here, Miss Dating an Older Guy. Wait a minute, back up. Who's this older guy and why am I just hearing about it now? Because you're too busy being Miss Look at Me, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> well, he's out of school and he's, um, how should I say this? Oh, yeah, hot. Oh, man. He drives a red Ferrari. Hello? <laughs> wow, what does he do? He owns his own business. He designs websites. Uh -huh. Baby's got bank. <laughs> All right, everybody, bring it in. Now, our first game is Friday, and I want you rested. So, I'm setting a curfew. Lights out at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Are you nuts? Because I was thinking 9.30. <laughs> Coach Katowinski, please report to the principal's office. Oh, okay. You guys shoot around. I'll be right back. Yeah, you hope. <laughs> hey, Michael. Thanks again for the help with my math. I think I aced that test. Oh, cool. Anytime. Hey, let me ask you something. What would you think if Julie and I got back together? Fine with me, but you might want to ask Brian. Who's Brian? That guy. Hey, Julie. Hey, Brian, what are you doing here? Oh, I was thinking about you. Thought I'd come by and watch you practice. <clears throat> Sorry. These are my friends Christy and Mary Beth. Hi. Hi. Just wondering, do you have a brother? Oh, Mary Beth. <laughs> uh, Julie, I got a little surprise. Front row seats to Alanis Morris. That's unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> How did you get those? That concert's been sold out for weeks. Oh, the tickets were easy. A client got them for me. But these took a little more work. <gasps> Backstage passes? That is so cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to party with the band afterwards. Uh, well, if you don't have a brother, maybe a cousin? A pool guy? <laughs> Mary Beth, go fold some towels. Look, I don't want to get in the way, so I'll just sit over here while you guys have your practice. Okay. A towel for your tush? Mary Beth. <laughs> Mary Beth, you gotta help me find an apartment for Antonio. His Aunt Lucinda just got married. What? She's getting married? Isn't she like a giant? Ugh, yeah, and the guy's like 5'2". She's willing to overlook it. <laughs> Ooh. Antonio, did you find a place you like? First, I saw one with no windows. And then I saw one with too many windows. And then I saw one with great windows, but I had to share the bathroom with the gas station next door. <laughs> oh, looky, here's a good one. Studio apartment, nice neighborhood, close to mall. Oh, if you don't take it, I will. Vamos, let's go. All right. <laughs> what? Ooh, look, the door's open. Let's look around. Ooh, this place is nice. I can live here. Yeah. A few throw pillows, some new drapes, and my mom's cleaning lady for a day. This place could be fabulous. <laughs> This place is popping. <laughs> a nice big closet for your clothes. Or a bed. <laughs> Coach, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? No, what are you doing here? I'm the landlord. I live downstairs. You're the landlord? Well, this is perfect. I mean, Antonio needs an apartment. You need a tenant. A carpool to school. Forget it. No way. Why no way? Why not way? <laughs> Leave it to me. I am a smooth negotiator. <clears throat> Coach, you're a reasonable man. Antonio will give you double whatever you're asking. Oh, he will not. I can afford that. Look, forget it. What I want is a nice, quiet, little old lady. 
And just because you went to Antonio doesn't mean you can't date. I need to live here, you goofball. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather rent to somebody you know, Coach? Exactly. Oh, you can trust Antonio. Oh, oh, you I don't know. Coach, let me break this down for you. You see, this plant is you. And Antonio is the son. If now, I say yes now, will you not stand so close? <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you, because I had no idea what I was talking about. I promise. <laughs> you won't regret this, Coach. Too late. <laughs> Yeah, give us the dirt. Have we had our first kiss yet? That's none of our business. Yeah, that's a no if I've ever heard one. Uh, I really like Brian. But I have to admit, I feel sort of, I don't know, too young around him. Does that make sense? Julie, he's not that much older than you. Well, I know, but I always feel like some high school girl around him. You know, he's talking about his business and traveling, and I'm talking about pep rallies and my creepy science teacher. Oh, Mr. Hogue, the one that spits when he talks, you need an umbrella just to ask a question. <laughs> what Julie's trying to say is that Brian's different than high school guys. Yeah, he's more mature and sophisticated. Come on, there's lots of high school guys who are mature and sophisticated. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh, uh, oh, no! <laughs> we don't know any mature guys, but I'm, I'm sure there's some somewhere. Hi, Julie. Hey, Brian. Thank you, this is so sweet. So what's going on? Oh, we were just having a mature conversation with our extremely sophisticated friend, Julie. She's so wise beyond her years. <laughs> so, what's up? Oh, well, my dinner meeting was canceled, so I thought we could do something. Maybe take a drive downtown, check out the clubs? <gasps> Ooh, let's go! <laughs> I mean, yeah, have fun. <laughs> you know, I'd like to, but my coach just started a curfew. Curfew? Oh, that's a word I haven't heard in a while. She's just kidding. See, that's part of her sophisticated sense of humor. She's always making us laugh. Julie, do another one. <laughs> I'd like to go, but really, I don't... She'll go. See, curfew doesn't really apply to her. It's really for the younger players. Guys, I can speak for myself, okay? So, what do you think? Get for a little ride? It'll be fun. Come on. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Bye. Okay, everyone, that's practice. Hit the showers. Julie, needing you. <laughs> yeah, Coach, look, I'm sorry about screwing up that last play. And the play before that? And the play before that. You've been dragging your butt all week. What's up? I'm just a little tired. I don't know what it is. Well, find out what it is and get rid of it. We got a big game Friday. God, I know what's wrong with Julie. She's been out late all week with Ferrari Boy. <laughs> I'm going to talk to her. Oh, no. You know how that's gonna go. You're gonna be all, Julie, you gotta blah, blah, blah. <laughs> then Julie's gonna be all, Michael, shut up, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> then Coach will be all, we're losing, blah, blah. Blah? <laughs> Julie, I know why you've been messing up. I mean, you've been going out late every night with, what's his face? You got a problem with me going out with Brian? No, no, I just don't want to blow the first game of the season because you got a crush on some guy with a Ferrari. Why don't you just worry about yourself and leave me alone, all right? Oh, 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 oh see, that's totally legal, man. You cannot jab a guy like this. And you can't do one of these. Hey! Can you please watch something else? <laughs> this is the life. A friend with his own crib. No parents, no rules, just the guys being guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> watch this. 
She's gonna freak. Can you chill? He probably doesn't even know we're here. Look, just keep the noise down, right? Remember, Coach lives right downstairs. Okay, mommy, don't worry. <laughs> What's a little hot in here? I'm gonna go open the window. If that's not against the rules. <laughs> Coach, get rid of those bees. They'll love you for that. <laughs> ah, get off me! Get these bees off me! Oh, man, the bees are chasing Coach. Run, Coach! Watch out for that rose bush. <laughs> Ryan guy. Now remember, our first game's tomorrow, so don't say anything stupid. Don't say anything to make her mad. Tell you what, don't say anything. Coach, you look so... Swollen? Stung? In pain? I hope you're not holding this against Antonio. I mean, he's trying so hard and he means well and he's so cute. Save it, Red. It's not working out. I'm too old for his nonsense and too young to die. <laughs> Cutie pie's gotta go. Thanks for coming along tonight. I know this isn't your thing. Nah, I'm having a great time. <laughs> You're not a very good liar. Busted. Look, I had four years of high school. You're worth another night. Okay, everybody, listen up. Before we carve the meatloaf, I want a big tornado welcome for our two new starters, Eugene Brown and Antonio Lopez. Come on, guys, stand up. Coach, you mind? Um, hi, everybody. I just want to thank you all for making me feel at home. Um, Coach, what can I say? I'm a thousand miles from my family, and, and you've made me feel like I have family here. I mean, you put me on the team, and then you took me into your home. And even though I'm probably driving you crazy, you still love me. And I love you, too. Thanks, Coach. All right. Listen, I'm proud of about what I said earlier. Uh, forget about it. You mean Cutie Pie can stay? Yes, he can stay. Oh, really? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow! Oh, 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 he stays! Oh, oh, Gil, as soon as Julie's done here, we're gonna hook up with you guys at Nick and Linda's. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Brian. <gasps> He's drinking B-E-E-R. <laughs> In school? That's a big N-O-N-O. -N -O. <laughs> Should we tell Julie? I don't know. Maybe we're making a big deal out of nothing. Who are we spying on? B-R-I-A-N. Oh, hi, Julie. Oh. <laughs> Is he drinking? Here? That's weird. Yeah, isn't he driving? Julie, you should say something to him. I don't know. It's just beer. If I make a big deal about it, he'll think I'm being a baby. I mean, look, it's not like he's drunk. Maybe we're overreacting. We sound like a bunch of nervous high school kids. Oh, Julie, hi. Listen, my friends Nick and Linda are having a party at their condo. I told them we'd swing by. How about it? Oh, sounds like fun, but I better not. We'll have a good time. And don't worry, I'll get you home in plenty of time for your curfew. Ask him if he's okay to drive. It was just a couple of beers. <gasps> I'm fine. Don't worry. So, Jules, are we out of here? Well... Why not? I'll see you guys tomorrow.